All right, we're chugging right, right, right along here, and we're on uh, part three of using Facebook as sites. And uh, I'm just using Mashable as a script here. Maybe we can get through two parts this time. We'll see. And this is scenario number three, evaluating Facebook beyond Facebook.com. So basically, uh, how do you see how your uh, page is performing in regards to other uh, <clears throat> other domains and websites and everything like that. Uh, so basically what we're going to be looking at here is the first thing is external referrers. So uh, let me just go back in here and do this. I just have to switch back to that page. And uh, so then we're going to go to insights over here. And we're looking for external referrers, I believe, at the bottom of the users yes yeah, so just click users here and we'll go down to the bottom and yes external refers here we touched on this a little bit but where are people this says top referring external domain sending to your traffic so this corresponds to data from like pa the past month basically so over the past month traffic arrived at your page through these three domains and so we have google.com is the top one yahoo and then nickswisher.net so obviously, uh, you're going to want to look and see where your heavy ones are coming and focus your attention on maybe advertising on those domains, you know, buying some Google ad, AdSense to drive traffic in. Uh, that'll give you an idea of if you want to pursue uh, more presence on those domains. The next one is like, like sources. So this is back at the top right of users. So this is basically um, where people are actually liking this liking the page from so you can put a box on your on your website um, and there in certain search areas on Facebook you can like or you can go to the page itself and like so here's the like like box which appears on the website so not a lot of people are are clicking the like box which is on uh, the website most people get it from the source unknown which is really interesting I haven't seen that very often I'll have to look in and see what uh, unknown is and then 36 have come from uh, the page itself and so this is over the past month by the way so that information is good that if you were getting it from one source you could prioritize your efforts around there uh, since most people are, are, are there to begin with uh, so the next one is insights on an external domain so it tells us to click this box right here or click this link right here and we're taking to uh, this insights for your domain so you're going to click this and so basically uh, what you want to do is add this meta tag to your web page so this tells you how to gain insight for that and so we can actually then copy this and put it into our Facebook page to get that so once you uh, tie in your your insights to your external domain which takes some verification which uh, I just actually built into the CMS so um, if you're using a gunner technology CMS all you have to do is match up the app the uh, app ID and the admins to your Facebook like profile or excuse me Facebook like page and you'll be able to have these insights and external domains which tells you how people are interacting with uh, your Facebook stuff on your domain and the last point here is website analytics which you should absolutely keep an eye on this really doesn't have anything to do with Facebook insight in general but it means you should keep an eye on analytics uh, through Google Analytics, Omniture, whatever you're using and see if there's a correlation between those and your Facebook page and so wrapping up here, the last two things, demographics, uh, which you can see right here by going, uh, let me click back to the page. And go back to uh, in, uh, insights. And the demographics is right down here on the users tab. So if you look here, it'll say demographics. So keep an eye on who you're resonating with and uh, you know where they're coming from, countries, cities, languages. You can expand more, see where they're coming from, and then I'll give you an, I'll give you an idea on where to focus your efforts and where you're popular and what language and such. And the last point here is external refers, which we've already looked at again, uh, but this will again show you where your people are coming from sort of what they're into this is it right here um, and things like that now this doesn't give us too much information but on a, on a on a more active page you'll see a large breadth of information and those will just say what your fans are interested to like if they're coming from Flickr they're probably interested in photos if they're coming from a niche social network you can get some insights on the content that they would be interested in when they come to your Facebook page and that concludes our series on Facebook insights